All right, y'all. Welcome back. Josh here with Josh's Lawn and Landscape. Been a little while since uh, I did videos. You can see them in the shop, uh, but I'm gonna try not to make this one too long. I know I have a tendency to talk a little long, but uh, just been a couple days. I, I want to do a uh, somewhat quick video. Uh, hopefully, it's not too quick for what it is. But um, this is going to be my 2023 lawn care setup video. Um, it'll just be my primary setup, pretty much the the tools and stuff that I use roughly 95 plus percent of the time, kind of my daily operation stuff. So I'll have some extra things that I may mention in the video, but we'll see. Um, and let me get the camera turned around uh, so we can get into it. And here we go. All right, so let's start with some of the big stuff. Uh, this is my 2016 Silverado 2500 HD. Um, it is a crew cab, six liter gas engine, two wheel drive, um, and I pull a SureTrack seven by eighteen. I think this is the TA trailer. It's a 10k trailer, uh, dual uh, 5,000 pound axles. Um, has a, a four foot drop gate on it. Um, and I have the Equipment Defender three-tier trimmer rack. Um, awesome rack. Um, enjoy uh, what it allows is to kind of keep the trimmers and stuff out of the bed of the truck, which is what I used to do. Um, so that is the truck and the trailer. And then there is the John Deere Z920M. This is a 2015 model. Um, it has the Kawasaki carbureted FX730V engine, which I think is rated at 23 and a half horsepower. Um, I have roughly, I think it's 1540-something. Yeah, 1545.6, if you can see that, um, on that one. So the, uh, you've probably seen it in videos where I did the um, deck swap on it earlier this year. Still got the old deck. I'm going to get it cleaned up. Probably end up putting it up for sale. Um, I use a BR600 backpack blower. Uh, love this blower. Plenty of power for day-to-day for -day use. Everything I do with it uh, still does a pretty good job moving leaves when I need it to. Um, that's the the X590, which is kind of an emergency backup mower. Um, I don't typically carry it with me unless I need two mowers, and this mower or the stander is down. So, um, but a BR600, I use two FS94R trimmers. Uh, Echo Speed Feed 400 head. I may be looking to swap these to a 450. Um, both have the Darwin grip, um, very lightweight, plenty of power, like I say, for day-to-day -day use, if I need to do edging or anything like that. Um, I operate with the Steel, uh, CF3 Pro trimmer line. Um, a lot of you may have heard me talk about that before. I love the trimmer line, very durable, um, cuts well, and, uh, like I said, just kind of my go-to line now so uh let me know what y'all use in the comments i know a lot of people probably use like the echo black diamond um i also used to use the echo crossfire line which is a pretty good line as well so two of those the fs94 r's uh like i say i love them lightweight plenty of power um and it just it doesn't wear on you if you have to do a lot of trimming on certain jobs like i do on my cemetery property uh, this is my FC96 edger. It's a straight shaft edger. Um, this thing has re uh, pretty much kind of ridiculous power, in my opinion, um, which it's a pretty big step up from what I used to run, which was a FC70. Uh, but plenty of power for what I for what I use it for for uh, everyday edging. Um, I'm thinking about maybe getting a uh, golden blade or golden edge blade for this, possibly. So any of y'all that's used that, let me know your thoughts on it. Um, my other primary mower is the 
notorious, infamous, famous, everybody knows everything about it pretty much, the John Deere Quick Track 652R has the uh, ECV 740 Kohler, I think it's a 25 horsepower uh, EFI engine. Um, any of y'all that have been on the channel for any length of time in the past <laughs> 8 to 12 months um, knows just about everything about this mower. Um, I do use this kind of as my primary mower when I'm by myself. It does an excellent job when it's running right. Um, so I just did a 200 hour review on this mower. Um, it has 1,357 hours on it. So I've put, despite all the issues I had with it, I think I mentioned in the last video, I have put 216 hours on this mower over, the, over this past season. So it just keeps going, kind of like the Energizer Bunny. Uh, so, like I said, the Quick Track and the Z Track are my primary mowers. Uh, the 590 is kind of a backup in emergency situation where I may need it. And sometimes I'll even use the 1025R. So, um, check out some videos on that. I've got actually got two on the part brake adjustment. Any of y'all have seen that video, y'all kind of know what that's about. But I did a adjustment video on it. And then I had to do a follow-up uh, after I had uh, another person or YouTuber come into the comments and uh, kind of make a comment about uh, possibly something that I had done in that video. It could cause damage to it. So I did my research, checked it out, did a follow-up video. Y'all check them out. Um, my gas cans, this year I started switching over to the VP Racing cans. Um, I have a five gallon and a three gallon. The three gallon is for my mix, which I typically I only do a two and a half gallon because I use the um, back here the steel HP Ultra. As you can see, it makes two and a half gallons. That's what I use for my mix. Um, only non ethanol uh, fuel for my equipment. Um, I don't have to worry about a lot of stabilizers and stuff for off-season time. Um, when I do winter maintenance, I typically just come down, start everything up, let it run for a few minutes, and then I hang it back up on the rack. I don't have to dump the fuel out, none of that stuff. I've never had any issues with anything. Um, I've got my, you see the cutter blade on this one here is my FS90R, which is uh, 10 plus years old. Um, I still use it. Um, got the brush cutter head on it uh, still because it has a little more power than the 94. So that's why I use that. But uh, one more, two more little quick things I'll throw in here. Two or three um, is the steel HS45 gas uh, hedge trimmers. This has the two foot uh, bar or cutter blade on it. Um, had this almost as long as I've had the uh, FS90. You get that shovel handle out of the way. And then um, I use that on occasion. Uh, my primary pruners has become this HL94K. It has the two foot oscillating, um, articulating head on it. Um, love this tool. Uh, good reach, uh, good flexibility with it. Being able to change the angles on the head to get around shrubs and things like that um so that is my primary pruners and then on occasion when i have to pull the chainsaw i have a steel ms250 with the 18 inch bar so um that's pretty much it uh, for my primary setup uh, gas cans trimmer edger blower primary mowers backup mower truck and trailer so um ooh. try to make it quick um y'all let me know y'all's thoughts do y'all use any of this same stuff um what's your opinions on it have you used it for a long time are you new to using it uh, do you prefer something else I always like the uh conversation points of different equipment um i know there's a lot of echo uh, guys out there like the 2620 um obviously if you're a guy that does a lot of leaf cleanups you're probably going for a br800 or probably an echo 8010 or 9010 um 
Not familiar with a lot of the numbers for the sizes of, say, like the Red Max blowers, the Husqvarna blowers, some of that stuff. But I know there's some of y'all out there to use that stuff too. So, um, or are y'all a battery person? So, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. Try to make it kind of short, sweet, to the point. Um, that's it. That is my 2023 lawn care setup, all my primary equipment. And like I said, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. I appreciate all the support for the channel. Uh, I'm going to try to get into posting a little more frequently, hopefully. I got a few jobs coming up and uh, can put together some more content for y'all. So as always, I appreciate all the support. Thank y'all for subscribing. If you haven't yet and you've watched a couple videos, please hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Leave me a thumbs up. Just uh, helps the channel out. Uh, always thankful for any extra support that I get. And uh, just want to say, as always, y'all be safe, be kind, be blessed. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.